Hi, welcome to Grade 2 Math with Mrs. Farrington. And today we're going to be looking at addition of two digit numbers without regrouping. Now you may remember that addition is when we join two sets together. We want, we will hear words like sum. We're going to hear words like total, in all, all together. So what it means is I'm going to take this group of items, join it with this group of items to find out how many I have in all or the total or the sum. So we're going to look at some items that you're very familiar with. I went in the back of the yard and I got some. Anybody recognize these? They're cherries. So cherries are in season now. So our first problem is we're going to find out how many cherries there are all together. We have two bowls, an orange bowl and a green bowl. But how many cherries do we have all together? Okay, so first I'm going to count the cherries in the orange bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out are we going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one? So there are 21 cherries in the orange bowl. I will write the number 21, and 21 is written two tens and one one. So 21. Now I'm going to count the cherries in the green bowl. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I have seventeen cherries in the green bowl. So now I'll write seventeen. One ten, seven ones. So I have twenty one. And 17. I want to make, I'm writing a number sentence. So I'm setting up my number sentence. And I have to make sure that I write my addition sign to make my number sentence complete. So now I'm ready to add to find out how many there are in all in this particular set. So for step one, I'm going to add the digits in the ones place. So I look, I have 21 is two tens and one one. So that means it's the one is in the ones place. And 17, one ten, seven ones. The seven is in the ones place. Now for some of us, we may need some help. So we draw our imaginary line to separate the tens from the ones. So... Step one, I will add the digits in the ones place. One plus seven. One plus seven is, I can use the count on method. I will start with the larger number seven, and then plus one is eight. So one plus seven is eight. And then step two, I'm going to add the digits in the tens place. So I have two tens plus one ten. Two plus one will give me three. So my sum or the total is 38. If I wanted to check it, I will now combine or put them together and I will count them to see if I was indeed correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So I were correct. 21 plus 17 equals 38 in all or all together or the sum of 21 and 17 is 38. We're going to try it with something else. So that was our cherries. So here we have two sprigs of rosemary. Rosemary is an, is an herb. You probably saw your mom cooking with it before. You maybe saw it on some roasted chicken or baked chicken and you didn't know what it was. And you probably pulled it out, but rosemary is very, very nice herb. Gives food a very good flavor. So we're going to count the sprigs on these. So we're going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So for my second number sentence, I have three tens, two ones for 32. So there's 32 in here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Twenty four. 25, 26. I'm not going to count this one. So, in this bowl here, I have two tens, six ones, or 26. And then I make sure I put my addition sign. I'm going to draw my line. Bam! I've got my number sentence. And because some of us may need this, some of us don't. But it's just a reminder that we begin adding from the ones column. So in the ones column, I have two ones and six ones. So two plus six. Now, if you do not know two plus six mentally quickly, I like to do triangles and circles. Two triangles and six circles. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two plus six equals eight. Now I'm going to add the digits in the tens place. I have three tens and two ones. I will do three triangles and two circles. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Three tens plus two tens equals five tens. So my sum or the total is 58. That means when I put these two together, I have 58 sprigs of rosemary. Now you may be wondering why I like to do triangles and circles. Because a lot of times what happens is, and I'm going to show you, sometimes what some students would do, not everybody does it, we will say two 
And then we want to do plus 6. Then we go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all we really did was we only drew enough for 1. So if we separate it, then we would know that there are two different digits that we're adding. So I like to do two different shapes. Now, we have one more to practice on. Boys, I am pretty sure you are going to love this. Marbles. I have two bowls of marbles. I couldn't leave them in the jar. So I have these two bowls of marbles, and I need to know how many these are. So Miko and Quay have marbles. Well, if Miko and Quay were to put their marbles together, how much marbles would they have? So let's see how many marbles Miko has. We're going to count Miko's marbles, and these are a lot of marbles. So I'm going to take them out first. And... I'm going to use one of these boys because I don't want to drop his marbles. You know, marbles are very important to boys. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Miko has... A whopping 47 marbles. Miko has a lot of marbles. So let's see how many marbles Quay has. So we're going to count Jaquay's marbles. And Jaquay has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so Jaquay, Jaquay has 42. So now we're going to combine, that's another word for put together, by adding just so I remember that I must begin adding from the ones column. And also notice that when I write my numbers, they are lined up underneath each other. So I'm going to be adding seven ones plus two ones. And seven plus two would give us, so I'm going to use the count on method, so I go seven, eight, nine. So seven plus two equals nine. And then step two, I will now add the digits in the tens column. And the digit in the tens column are four and four. So we have doubled. And four plus four will equal eight. So when we combine Miko and Quay's marbles all together, we have 89 marbles. So... Just to recap, when we are adding, it means that we are putting numbers or objects together. And when we are adding, we write what we call an addition number sentence. This is, an, a, num this is a number sentence. We make sure that we add the digits from the ones column first. And then we add the digits in the tens column. 
but what do we call these? They're not just digits. In addition, these are called addends. They're called addends. The numbers that you add together are called addends. And the answer that you get is the sum. And only in addition do you get a sum. So you add the addends and then you get a sum. And the addends and the sum and the addition sign and also the equal sign is called an addition number sentence. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this practice. Please make sure that you practice with the activities that we have provided. Continue to be safe and we will have a chat next time. So stay safe out there. This has been Math for Grade 2 with Mrs. Farrington. Take care.